Capfire coming in for a baited attack. Hyperkinetic coming through on a Capfire. 100 down to 50% exactly. Getting another aerobic proc. And Tornado, minus two special defense. This could actually one shot. And it does not. It goes to 31%. So it's either a weak Barnshee or a very bulky Volarin. And it kills itself. Oh no. All right, we got a game with God, and we have a game with Ben Benner CP. Uh, I have not seen this player before, but he's running an interesting digital Koish without a Gazuma. So, um, yeah, we're definitely gonna see how this game shapes up. We have God with a lot of interesting stuff. Volarin, um, obviously, is really strong, but he's running the Fire Koish with the Yowler. Um, Tuvine is very good against the uh, Naga comps that you see quite a bit, and he also has Skunch. So Skunch with the perfect jabs, Yowler, uh, and Fire Koish is in play. It has the Volar and Yukama uh, start as well, and Barnchi is just a good Tem overall to cover everything that's been going on in the meta. So, we have Cerny Fan, and we have a Volfi Ban on God's side. Yowler being the starting pick, and both teams do not have Kinu. So, we're looking like we have a double Ketza team on uh, Ben's side. We have Momo, Skunch for Raiken and Capire uh, for the neutrals. And we have a digital Koi, so I'm super... Um, I definitely want to see how he uses the digital Koi, if he decides to use it. And yeah, he decides on clicking Barnshi to deal with the neutrals and Momo. So in this situation, it is better to most likely go into Barnshi because you definitely know Barnshi is getting banned if it's not picked up this round. And if he picks on the Barnchi, most likely Ben is probably thinking about banning the Fire Koish. So he doesn't get the Ketza. So pretty good pick ban phase, I think. Um, I think baiting out the uh, the Barnchi pickup and then being able to ban the Fire Koish. I, I know he's thinking, but it's like it's just a pure Fire Koish ban here. And he does decide on the Fire Koish ban and he bans the Grumper on Ben's side. And we decide on the Yukama pick. And we're picking up Skunch on Ben's side. I think Raiken is better with the Skunch combo, I think. And then you decide on the Koish of the Capire, I guess. You know you're picking one of the fires, so like you might as well pick the one you want. But he does decide on picking the Koish, so we get to see digital Koish in this game. So it's not very often you see a digital Koish without a Sparks team, uh, just because you don't get the Gazuma digital trait uh, procced onto it, so it doesn't get the plus two speed on turn one. Clicking the Volarin Tuvine, and which one is he going to pick? Are we picking the Capire or are we picking the Raiken here? I think Capire, uh, if it's Prideful Raiken, it's a Snowball item. If it's Capire, it's a setup item. So, uh, We'll talk about the differences there in a second. So, we have Ben starting off with the Momo and the Barnshee. And we have God starting off with the Barnshee and the Yowler. So, two, uh, two kind of same starts instead of Yowler. It's just a switch of Yowler and Momo on their preferences. And then also we have the Camo, which is pretty sick. The thing about this is most likely... Um, if he has clinch on Yowler, you can clinch and beta burst the Momo and it dies. Uh, but some people are opting out of beta burst and only going energy manipulation. So, pretty curious on what the movesets are on Ben's side and God's side. And, yeah. So, turn one, we see uh, God switching out the Yowler into the Yukama. And the beta burst coming through. Kama eating it for a 30% HP. Beta Burst coming out into the Momo. 100 down to 30%. Double Edge coming out of Yukama, getting plus one plus one. And yeah, dealing some good damage there. Uh, something to think about is the Beta Burst did the 70%, and the Barnchi and Momo did the 17.8. Uh, so. Undermine is active on the bar on the Momo, so if there is energy manipulation on the Barnchi, it's definitely going to kill Momo before it is able to undermine. Um, which also Aquatic Whirlwind on Yukama will probably be able to deal damage before Barnchi attacks, just because Yukama is naturally fast. And we have a Sweat Band. Uh, we see a Sweat Band on God, 
uh, God's Barnsey. So pretty good stuff, uh, especially since Barnsey isn't really um, there's really no huge threats. Uh, mainly because they did not attack Barnsey on turn one, so it's gonna be able to live at least two more turns. So Ben is retreating the Momo into the digital Koish here, wondering if it's Synergy Master or Iridescence. Aquatic Whirlwind coming in. Going into the Koish, and it is... We still don't know if it's Iridescence or not. Hydrologist being shown on Yukama, but the 32% and Yukama is going to go down. Barnsey Beta Burst. Going into the Barnsey, bringing it down to 56%. So uh, both Barnsey and Koish are in some uh, some lethal range here, especially the digital Koish. So what is God going to pick? We have Tuvine and Volarin that we see. We got Volarin coming out. So God bringing out Volarin. The sweatband is still being procced and... Again, we do not know what kind of course this is, or if it's Iridescence or Synergy Master. Um, there is no Toxic Thames, and there is no way to cause Synergy with the Koish, so... I would assume it would be Iridescence, but... Alright, Tornado comes through onto the Koish, and it is definitely going to take it out. Ripperonis are there, 21%... Uh, stamina onto the Barnshee, and Beta Burst goes into the Barnshee as well, um, from God's side. Feather Galling into Barnshee, getting the aerobic proc for plus one speed, and God has a pretty strong Volarin here. A good Hyperkinetic is going to be able to kill Momo, it's going to bring Skunch really far down. Momo coming out for Ben, and he is thinking Momo is the sacrifice here, I believe. Not being able to deal with Barnshee with Sweatband is pretty brutal for Ben. He opted into uh, putting pressure onto the Yowler instead of the uh, the Barnshee. He needed to kill the Barnshee, and I think that was the big mistake for him. Capire coming in for a baited attack. Hyperkinetic coming through on a Capire, 100 down to 50% exactly, getting another aerobic proc, and Tornado, minus 2 special defense, this could actually one shot, and it does not, it goes to 31%, so it's either a weak Barnshi or a very bulky Volarin, and it kills itself, oh no, such a huge overexertion, Beta Burst coming in, 50 down to 5%, so every Tem is looking pretty rough here. Skunch is at 100% HP, but it is four times weak to mental. So, energy manipulation, beta burst from Barnshi is going to be able to kill this with ease. Uh, Momo coming in. He's trying to get an undermine off, but he just... He, he wasn't able to deal with a Barnshi early on, and it's just not looking good. Looking pretty rough. The, the one thing is, if Barnshee does not have energy manipulation, uh, it is going to overexert on this turn unless it uses Windburst. Uh, Windburst would also be able to outspeed, but if it's not full speed, um, that would mean Momo would be going first on this turn. So, switching out the Barnshee, probably not having energy manipulation, which is pretty fair if you don't have. Uh, definitely switching out is the better option. Toxic Boom coming in, 16 stamina with the plus 2 speed. Being able to do this and get the kill on the Capire before it can use Ketza is really strong. Undermine coming through on the Volarin, and that is absolutely destroyed there. Minus two special defense, Undermine would absolutely kill. So, 2% HP on the Momo, and the Skunch is the last one alive. So, Undermine is down, Barnshee is absolutely free. Uh, Skunch is going to come in, and it's only going to have Perfect Jab because it doesn't have any of its holds available. So, with no holds available, Perfect Jab, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be game, absolutely. God takes it. GG.